What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Thursday. Let's get in to the news. Things I don't understand. Sometimes I need to be alone. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. All right, so first things first, let's quickly go through the design notes and uh, coming soon is the Harvest Fest, that's tomorrow. Uh, looks like we'll have a boss of farm and the boss will probably drop, just a guess, uh, the seasonal set from Bido, uh, confirmed seasonal right there. Uh, the set looks really nice and I cannot wait to have that in game. Uh, looks really good and that kind of like, it kind of goes with the release they just had for AQ3D. More on that in the future. Uh, if you go slash on Underworld, there is a zero AC tagged item, which is going to go rare pretty soon. This weapon was for the custom weapon winner for one of the previous months. I don't know which month that they kind of do them randomly now. Uh, you don't really, they don't really announce them either. They just kind of happen. So uh, you, if you go right here, you talk to the NPC shops, you can buy it. Uh, it's not AC tagged or rare yet, of course, because you can still get it. Uh, it's also going to get like some boosts on it, damage boosts or some sort, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, if you want that, it's going to go rare eventually, so grab it if you want to collect that uh, for yourself. If you ever want to see a robotic Moglin with a interestingly placed laser beat? Is that a laser cannon? Rocket one? What is that? I, I don't know what this is. Uh, so there's a jetpack on the Moglin. Um, yeah, I... This is very weird and unsettling, but you know, that looks like it's going to be an Evil Corp update in the Evil Corp update coming soon. All right, Z has been working on a lot of Citadel gear. Uh, it looks all really good. I love the shading, everything on it. It looks really nice. The glowing eyes. It's all really good stuff. So, but I don't, it's not been confirmed whether or not this is actually going to be in the game. Uh, it should be. And maybe it will be, but uh, at this moment, we have no confirmation on that. Looks really good, though. Bido posting uh, what looks to be Evil Corp based on the red and black color scheme. Uh, some more daggers and blades there. Reen's character page has a very interesting... I don't know what that is. That's probably going to be a boss drop, the armor from the recent uh, Tomorrow's event. And that blade is... What is... What is that a peanut butter coated sword? What is that? Uh, there's a lantern on the arm. Uh, that helmet is that helmet right there. It looks like, or is that like a, is that a dark? Yeah, it's like it's a darker version. Of, oh, that's a recolor. Okay, so a dark version of that. So ooh, maybe off the boss, uh, you get. Ooh, maybe that is that a color custom version of that. Ooh. ooh. Uh, Reen's alternate account, male alternate account, also has the armor in game for Evil Corp. Uh, this interesting looking scythe. I don't know if that's uh, unreleased or this helmet bunch of weird bunch of weird items I don't know. Maybe some of these interest you guys if you're living under a rock uh, the November upgrade package is out uh, I went over it on my live stream didn't make a video about it I used to make videos on the upgrade packages when they come out like going through the uh, shops and stuff uh, They come with battle pets member only battle pets. Uh, so that's an interesting thing That's about the only extra thing you need to know what you're seeing here is the low tier package and right there is the uh, 12k 12 month package so you can get that right now in game if you miss that somehow okay the last AQW thing I want to go over this week there's not a lot of news I don't know if you could tell them um, I wish there was more but you can tell by the fact that we're getting a uh, seasonal event re uh, returning that there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of news this week but next week we have Mehmet's birthday Nightmare Realm and Birthday Rares, so that's that sounds interesting. We've seen a little bit of stuff uh, based on that, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, then November twenty third, the big event for the month is Evil Corp takes over Thanksgiving plus Black Friday War, uh, and then on the twenty fourth, a day later, we get even more Black Friday Rares added to the shops. So not all the items are coming out on this day, which doesn't really make sense. But maybe they need more time. I don't think they need more time, but maybe they need more time, an extra day to. Get the items ready for that uh for the shop and uh the 27th uh three days later uh we have cyber monday rare shop so pretty cool uh, there's a lot of stuff coming out at the end of the month 23rd 24th 27th uh but until then we have quite a bit of a wait and the last piece of news is yesterday and this is how you can go to the new event uh dracovia 
was added to Adventure Quest 3D. Uh, there's a new story quest line in the event and also you can rank up to get gear from this NPC right here in the loading area. This map looks really good. Uh, it's Dracovian 3D. I'd log on just to walk around the map, uh, go into like the tavern, sit on the chairs, uh, just check out all the locations and all the cool art that they made for this area. It's really cool to see uh, a map you've seen in 2D before in 3D. It's just really cool. You can sit on the chairs too, which is interesting. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back here next week with hopefully some more interesting news. I hate when I... Uh, I want to make one of these videos every week, but it's not always the most interesting stuff to put into the video. I try to make it as interesting as possible, so uh, leave a like if you like the video, subscribe for, if you're not already. We do this each and every week, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.